Hello and welcome to the betting picks video for North Carolina State at UNC. I'm your host, Matthew Mato for Lamps.com. Joining you by Jacob Wayne. We got a six and a half point spread in favor of UNC. This game will be in Chapel Hill. Jacob, we finally have a game we, we somewhat disagree on, though not, not a complete disagree. This is not official plays on either end of the stick, but I'll let you go first. You have a small lean on the NC State side, maybe. Yeah, I just I just have a hard time weighing any number with this UNC team. Um, <laughs> and you're going to wax poetic about Drake May, and I, I, don't, I don't disagree with any of it. I think he might be the best quarterback in the country right now, to be honest with you. But the rest of this team is just doing him no favors. Um, this defense is pathetic. Uh, they can't run the ball at all. Um, and I think those two aspects make them incapable of gaining margin on anyone. Uh, that loss to Georgia Tech was a little bit fluky. The postgame win, win expectancy was close to 60% for UNC by SP+, but they haven't gotten margin on anyone all season. Like, you look at their results, and, like, it's just three-point win here, four-point win there, like, and they had been getting relatively lucky to, to pull out those close games. Um, I'm not saying the NC State's going to win this game, but I just have a hard time laying the number with, with UNC. Uh problematic part is we don't know what the quarterback situation is for NC State. MJ Morris was not great against Boston College. Ben Finley, their uh, freshman, was not great against Louisville in that loss. So, really unclear who's going to be suiting up for them in this game. But they, whoever it is, is going to be playing a UNC defense that is just letting whoever score on them. Right now, they rank uh, outside the top 100 in coverage on PFF, which will set up for an interesting opportunity for whoever this quarterback is going to be to maybe put together some positive momentum to close out the season. 128th in sack rate for UNC's defense. Uh, so it's not like Devin Leary was that great to begin with anyway. So I'm not sure there's a, a massive drop-off to whoever's going to play this week. Um, and on the NC State side, if there's one thing they still can do, it's defend the run pretty well. Second in line yards, seventh in opportunity rate, second in power success rate, and first in stuff rate. Um, all really elite numbers, obviously. So I think you're going to see them defend the run pretty well here. Uh, have a decent day in coverage. Um, I just think overall, like the best player on, in this game is obviously Drake May. So I'll let you talk about him. Well, I mean, we could talk for hours about him, but I think if you're watching this video, even if you're newer, better, newer to college football, and you're, you're trying to get our analysis, make yourself aware of Drake May. Like, there's so many videos out there explaining why this dude is one of the best, if not the best, quarterbacks in college football. I would say pretty clearly top five I would put him in my top three right now we're not going to get into that because there might be some disagreements between Jake and Jacob and I but I I love Drake May I don't think there's any defense in college football that really can contain him I, I felt like he had one of his worst games against Georgia Tech and, you know 16 for 30 202 one interception not the best game from his skill position players like you said he's just not getting much help out there and I also think this matchup is not the greatest because I actually, if you can run the football in NC State, which is really hard, that's when you have like a pretty clear victory. And we saw that in that Syracuse game where it was like, if you can run on top of what you can do in the air against NC State's defense, like you're, you're going to win. The reason why I'm pretty confident in this six and a half number is I know UNC's defense is really bad, but what I've seen out of the quarterback play from NC State is so pathetic. We're like it's to the level where as long as this defense is made out of guys that should be D one, NC State's gonna struggle to put up thirty points in this game. And I think UNC in a rivalry game with kind of the whole country watching Drake May, this is like one of his really big opportunities, I think, to have a big audience, a lot of scouts fully focused on him just show out and I think that he puts up 35 plus in this game and I, I just don't think NC State's offense is capable of doing that even against this terrible defense and that's probably where we disagree and I think it's a valid disagreement like I've seen flashes of UNC's defense it's why I took Wake Forest's team under in that game that's like they can somewhat slow down teams and again I just have a lot of hate for this NC State offense in my heart I guess I, I just can't see them doing it I can't see them sustaining enough drives to keep pace, which again, that's where the core of this disagreement is. And I don't think necessarily e either of us are that far, far off. Maybe it's more in the middle than we're making it out to be. So still feel confident enough it, when it push comes to shove, I'm willing to bet on Drake may and this offense to, to do enough. Um, just because I think it gets higher scoring. I, I think it gets near 
that 56 total points. And if you're going to get close to that, I really lean UNC to hit uh, winning this game by a touchdown, if that makes sense. Which, if, you, if you're looking towards the under, that's when I would start being like, okay, now NC State's a very valid pick in this one. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think if if uh, you bet on NC State, there's very much possibility where they come out just completely flat on defense and Drake May just has his way with this defense. Um, he's the best player on, in, on the field in this game, so I, I definitely don't disagree with that, that that analysis. I would just say that it's difficult for me to lay the points with the, the makeup of this UNC team, but uh, that would bring me to a question that I have for you, not necessarily betting picks related for this video, but just super quickly. Um, do you think Drake May transfers after this season? Well, that's actually a great question. I haven't even thought about it. That's tough for me because you're seeing, like, Josh Downs is obviously not going to be here next year. Not that, I mean, he's been really impressive at times, but honestly, I feel like he's underperformed a little bit from what we want to see from, especially having Drake May as your quarterback. Yeah. Oof. I, it's tough because I feel like if he stays here, he probably has another really good season and is a top three draft pick. Yeah. He could transfer... And it can go really well, or it could go badly where he kind of falls out of that top three. Like, I think the safe thing for him in his career is probably staying with UNC. But if he, and you, I imagine most people are who are this good athletically and they've gone to this point in their career as, as a player of any sport, you're so competitive you want to win. And if that's the case, I, I, I could see him definitely transferring out because legitimately the only team that wouldn't take him is USC, right? Like, every other team in the nation would probably... Yeah be willing to let him transfer in and maybe yeah. clemson since or texas God forbid with, the, with arch manning coming oh with out, arch but, manning coming in yeah but um well no, I mean, I arch just, manning learning behind drake may would be pretty sick true but just um I, as a michigan fan i'm fully bracing for drake may being on ohio state next year i'll just say that and we can that get was, out of here <laughs> that would hurt my soul because my whole ohio state quarterbacks will never succeed thing is uh it would be, would be really yeah. <laughs> finally put to the test all right, so I think we wrap things up. I'm on UNC my six and a half. I'm willing to make an official play half unit, not not a full unit, but a half unit. Jacob slight lean to that NC State plus six and a half, uh, just on the fact that UNC's defense is still hot trash. And uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like it, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets. Hit the subscribe button to see more content like this. Check out our other College Football Friday videos, our Saturday sleep video, our Sunday sleep video, and we will see you for the next one very soon.